10. How does a heterogeneous mixture differ from a homogeneous mixture? And how are they similar? All right, so let's break this up. Let's write down heterogeneous, heterogeneous mixture here and homogeneous mixture here. All right, cool. So first let's talk about the similarities and then we can get into the differences. I think that that's going to make it a little easier. So what these guys have in common, whether it's a, oh God, what kind of arrow was that, Christina? So the, the similarities between heterogeneous and homogeneous is that they're both mixtures. Well, it can't be that simple, but it, we're getting there. The question is though, or what is a mixture? In chemistry world, a mixture is when you have two or more compounds coming together. So if you think of any two compounds, two or more compounds that come together to make one whole thing, a mixture, voila, you got a mixture. You don't know if you have a heterogeneous or a homogeneous mixture, but you have a mixture. So the similarities between these two is that for both of these, two or more compounds came together. So compounds could be water and salt. Salt water would be a mixture because salt is another compound. It's N-A-C-L, table salt. Another mixture would be water and sugar. Two compounds that are coming together. There's many different types of sugar. The most specific one is glucose, C6H12O6. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, so just two or more compounds that come together will make a mixture. So that's how they're similar. But now we got to figure out how they're different. The difference comes from the way that they look. Heterogeneous is when you can see um, different parts, we'll say. So with your eye, it will be divided. So those two compounds are two or more compounds. When they come together, they will split. And with your eye, you would be able to see the different parts. Homogeneous mixture, on the other hand, when you actually look at it, well, yeah, we know that there's two or more compounds in there, but you will not see a division between the, the multiple compounds. So it all acts as one unit. So that's a difference. Heterogeneous mixtures, you can see the different parts. Homogeneous, however, it looks like one big thing. You don't know where each uh, compound is. So for example, the, the, the most basic one that they usually give for heterogeneous mixture is oil and vinegar. If you ever saw oil and vinegar dressing, you see that division, right? You see the oil, I think the oil lays on top of the vinegar or vice versa, but you can definitely spot out and point with your finger and say, oh, there's the oil, there's the vinegar, because you can see the different parts. Homogeneous mixtures, you cannot see that. So for example, when you mix milk with your coffee and you stir it around, it looks like one unit now, it just looks like that nice light brown mixture. So that would be a homogeneous mixture. You won't be able to see, oh, there's the coffee and there's the milk. They act as one whole unit. Uh, another example would be any soft drink for a homogeneous mixture. So Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Sprite. If you look in the ingredients, I'm just going to put here soft drink. If you look in the ingredients, there's tons of ingredients, aka tons of compounds. So it's got to be a mixture. And since when you pour it, there's only one unit, there's only one color. You can't tell the difference between where all the compounds are, so it's homogeneous. One last example for heterogeneous, oil and vinegar, yeah, but I like to think of a lot of the candy bars. So like a Hershey's. If you bite into a Hershey's, you can definitely see the different layers. There's an outer layer, there's a nice inner layer. I think Hershey's have nuts in them. Some of them do, right, the almonds. So you could definitely see that. So, yeah. So that's why they're different, and they're similar because for both of them, heterogeneous and homogeneous, you just have to have two or more compounds in them. All right, guys. Hope this helped out. 
If it did, please hit that subscribe button because you'll get tons of new information. You don't want to miss any of it. And I'll see you all in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.